You're listening to the Freelance Blend Podcast, episode 175. Welcome to the Freelance Blend Podcast, where we entertain, educate, and engage freelancers from the Philippines and across the globe. And now, here's your host, Marv De Leon. Good morning, Blenders. Good morning, listeners and viewers of Freelance Blend Podcast and Freelance Blend TV. This is Marv De Leon. I'm here now in a co-working space called Ground Up in Paranaque. So the, the one of the nearest uh, co-working spaces in my area. And um, we were supposed to do this live, kaya lang nagkaroon ng technical problem. Uh, but uh, things happen. Uh, we've been doing this podcast for years and uh, we've had our share of technical problems. But still, we, we push through and we continue because it's all about uh, giving the community, the freelancers, uh, what they need and what they, they va- will value and what will help them um, in their business. And that's why um, I'm, I'm happy to have with me here as our guest, uh, si Cindy Burdett. She's the CEO and co-founder of All Care. Uh, it's, a, it's a platform designed to um, make and give uh, company benefits to freelancers, uh, especially we freelancers, uh, actually informally, yesterday I surveyed my group. Sino sa kanila ang walang uh, health card or HMO and a lot of them don't. So I think this is really a very timely um, um, interview, especially uso rin ng sakit, like the flu, uh, neighbors and friends are having the flu, knock on wood. Buti wala pa akong, di ko pa siya nakakatch. So, um, yes. Uh, I'm happy to have get, uh, here with us Cindy Burdett of All Care. So, hello, Cindy. Hello. Thanks for having me. And, and thanks as well for for joining us this morning, despite our technical uh, problem. Um, so, yeah, um, like what we usually do with with our guests, we, we like to find out first um, their background, how they started. And um, so we talked about all care. So, Siguro, give us a bit of a background, how you got into this space, how you formed this company, and why you want to help our fellow freelancers. Sure. Um, first, thanks for having me, you know, and thanks for all the viewers um, and listeners listening in. Um, before my time in all care, I was the head of business and, uh, and B2B business and growth for a company called Storm. No? Storm is actually one of the largest, uh, larger startups in the Philippines. Um, and Storm dealt with company benefits. No? In, in Storm, kasi, what we used to do is we allow employees to flex, no? what we call flex, flexible benefits, to convert their benefits na traditionally nila nakakuha like BLSL. And by things that are more relevant to them, no? It could be like a laptop, a new phone, or maybe a trip abroad, no? In our time there, we were researching, actually we implemented a lot of multinational companies, like large, large companies, and one of the things that really stood out to us was the larger companies actually employed a significantly huge amount of contractors also. Yeah. And, uh, those contractors are paid, obviously, on a cash basis, no? So, kami sa Storm at the time, we would see people who were basically doing similar tasks, but one would have benefits and one would not, no? And that actually got us, uh, at first, we were doing it as a side project under Storm, no? We were researching. Um, my team before in Storm, we were doing it sa parang uh, side research project ni Storm, but we eventually found out that uh, the concept of freelancing is nothing, it's not small anymore. No, It's actually a growing phenomenon in Southeast Asia. And so we said, you know, why don't we just spin off this side project to be its own entity, its own company already, especially the opportunity is huge. And since because I've been working on that uh, sort of side project for over a year, um, it made sense to take on the realms, you know, to, the, to take on the reins for for all care. So that's why we I, I fully took on 
CEO role and the uh, founder July of last year. But we've been researching on All Care as early as 2017. So it's been cooking in the back burner for some time already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think um, I also was able to get in touch with one of your team members, Miki, and I think Chiguro, that was part of your research then, and um, I'm glad to have participated. So you mentioned um, one thing very interesting that, because uh, I, I also came from the corporate world, and I realized then that um, maraming nga rin contractors um, na a large, I, I was part of a large corporation, and we also hired a large, a large number of contractors. And um, uh, ayun, what, what specifically did you see uh, in, in that? Na, na yung, yung market na yun, Why? Um, and yung, during your research, uh, and you said that I think yung companies also start with large companies started as side projects diba? so and then now it's it's a full blown project but what did you see in that uh, during that side project that made you push through so first diba, pag, uh, when you hire freelancers or contractors um, there are platforms that provide quick access to them you know you have upwork you have freelancer um, you even have local groups that you can directly go to and source for, let's say, VAs. No? Uh, at one point, I had a VA also. So it's easy to recruit, no? sort of recruit uh, freelancers or contractors as opposed to hiring in the traditional sense na multiple level of job interviews, kailangan mag-resign ng employee, and then hihintay mo 30 days bago ma on board. So obviously, that is, a, that is one factor. No? Secondly, um, one of the things that we really experience uh, in our research is when you hire an employee, you are not only hiring that person and paying them a salary, but you also spend extra on the training and development of that person, number one. You also provide for benefits that are expenses no, for the company. And I think um, because number, you know, businesses are, can be drilled down to numbers, it makes sense for a, a company to outsource work and not have to deal with both all of the baggage of hiring and upskilling and also dealing with other, ben- other benefits. No? All you need to do is agree on a price per hour, Kunwari, contract job, bayan, price, for, price for the scope, and you're on your way. No? So there's a lot less friction in working with freelancers or contractors. But at the same time, I think, and during our research, I think, the freelancer is always on the losing side. Kasi problema niya yung upskilling niya, number one. Um, kung sakali na, let's say, developer man yan, um, he will have to be conscious about what technology is available out there. And kung may training programs required, or may certifications required, out of pocket yan ni freelancer. Otherwise, hindi siya magiging as competitive to the more recent um, freelancers that have the certifications. Or for example, um, your benefits, no? healthcare. Um, yesterday I was talking to a freelancer and she was telling me, most people think that when you're a freelancer, your legs are up, you're sipping piña colada while working. But that's not true. You're handling a lot of clients over different types of projects while you have the dogs barking, babies crying. And so it's actually a chaotic scenario. No? What you trade in for flexibility, then you have to worry about finding health care. You have to worry about making sure your, your benefits, your life insurance is in place. And kaya nga, interestingly, one of our advisors who is a big league uh, player in the insurance industry, she was telling us na even if the products are not expensive, no, they're affordable, people actually don't buy insurance because it's not a priority. So if you put it in the context of freelancers, true enough, you're more busy with uh, doing your work, making sure all your clients are satisfied and happy, or sometimes you're busy finding clients. It's the last, taking care of ourselves, the last thing in the priority list. No? So this is something that we really want to change, especially knowing that the future of work will really be centered around telecommuting, remote working, um, and outsourcing. No? 
So hopefully, all the care is that is that company that mediates between the needs of the freelancers and their actual reality, which is sobrang desi new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's a good point, no? And parang um, like for me as a freelancer, um, well, good thing that I have healthcare did, but most freelancers, sinya, you're right that their number one number one priority is of course to to earn. And uh, with that comes yung prospecting clients and um, um, working with the client or clients. So freelancers have multiple clients. Parang, na, parang in terms of priority, napupunta na sa ilalim yung taking care of their own. And, and probably, ano rin yun, parang Filipino um, culture that we take care of our everybody. everybody else before we take care of ourselves. So, um, and, and that's a, a really, really good point. Uh, now, my question is, um, in your experience working with large companies, uh, and you, as we said, that uh, large companies are hiring contractors, uh, and vis-a-vis, um, -vis, like in the U.S., I'm aware that uh, about maybe a third or more than a third of their workforce uh, are freelancers already. So... Um, dito sa atin, siguro 10% pa lang or, or less. So, um, do you see large corporations uh, or also SMEs, um, will they start also hiring more freelancers than regular employees? I honestly think everybody will start um, getting more freelancers or contractors, consultants. Yung freelancer kasi, it's such a, it's such a comprehensive term, no? Yeah, yeah. But I honestly think, like, for example, in All Care, when we started, because we were trying to uh, uh, get to market as fast as we could, I outsourced a lot of the jobs that had to be done. So, uh, marketing, um, some website development, Precisely because it's it's much faster to execute, and the prices man are very competitive. Mm -hmm. Um, sure, you there are some pitfalls like um, sometimes projects get locked out on the freelancer doesn't finish the job, but they all come with territory. It's the same with an employee, naman eh. If your employee can resign next week, and you'd have the same problem. So I really think more and more companies. Storm already does it. Um, we've done it in all care. I have a VA uh, that I work with also. So I know that this is really going to be the shift that a lot of uh, companies will be taking on. MSMEs, technically, they don't declare the people that work under them as freelancers. But if they're paid on a cash basis only and contract, yeah, that looks like a, like a freelancer also. No? So... Um, I think, and that's why the government is really trying to find ways to make it a more stable industry, precisely because there's so many of us who work as a freelancer or have side gigs, right? Um, like, ako, I have a couple of side gigs outside of becoming a CEO. I do speaking engagements. I consult for uh, other companies. Um, and yun, as done, freelancer and consultant ako done, di ba? Yeah. So I really think this is going to be a big, big deal. Not just in the Philippines, but in Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah and with uh, at least um, a sort of faster internet connection and um, yung co-working spaces like this, where I am right now, before, wala sa Paranaque, and now we have one. So it's, it's easier for people to, if they can't, you know, work at home, mahina internet, they can go somewhere else, like a coffee shop or a co-working space to work. And uh, I think that that's why they call it the gig economy. People can really, apart from working in a full-time corporate job, they can do side gigs uh, on their own. And then if that side gig, or parang sa all care, like diba, yung, yung side project became a full-time gig. So um, it, it's good that there are companies like all care to help us freelancers who yun nga, who want to transition from full time into a full time employee into a freelancer. At least we we know that there are companies uh, that help us when it comes to benefits. Especially me when I was in the corporate world, I yun na miss ko, um, like uh, when I was with this uh, financial institution. 
healthcare namin, 100% is covered. So, uh, covered yung yung panganganak ng wife ko. I, had, I have two kids. So, everything, um, medicine. So, uh, I, I miss that. Well, I don't think na um, somebody can come v- uh, close to that type of very um, kumbaga, generous uh, healthcare benefit. But, uh, at least malam yung yung HMO um, w- w- when me, people like me yung uh, transition to to becoming a freelancer um, yung eh nga karami marami pa rin na wala talaga sin totally wala and it's very scary if something knock on wood happens to you um, you really maybe especially if you're a starting freelancer it can, yung hospitaliza- hospitalization bills and medicine uh, bills can really hit your your budget. So, yeah, siguro yan. With that, can you can talk more about uh, all care? How all care uh, can can help our fellow Pinoy freelancers? Sure. So, all care is a so the product basically is a membership model. So, uh, a person is actually buying when when we say a person will buy all care what they're buying is a membership no? and then as a part of the membership we fold you into our group where we give you benefits no so the first of those benefits are what you mentioned no? HMO now this is a very interesting topic no especially for many of us uh, we have corporate HMO experience. No? So the HMO that All Care provides freelancers is very, very different. No? So I want to be very clear in this part. Yes. So what yes. we give is what, um, what is typically called an annual benefit, HMO. Meaning total, uh, walang per disease limit. No? It's a total yearly benefit of 50,000 pesos. Now to many people, when they first see that, Ang reaction na ako ako, ay yung baba naman kasi sa corporate job ko dati, 100,000 per disease. Yeah. Correct. If you look at it like that, on the absolute figures that is written in your coverage, mukhang mababa yung all care. But here's what I challenge everybody to look at. No? If you have a list of diseases that were covered once upon a time, Check niyo yung mga sakit doon and think about what's the likelihood that you would actually get those diseases. Um, or if you look at the fine print, you will see na ang pagkasalanan ng, em- ng employee hindi na covered. Um, Why, if you look at the all care HMO model, the 50,000 can be applied to abs- almost anything. The only thing we exclude, three things now, we exclude the uh, Aesthetic procedures, so Botox na for beautification purposes, obviously di nakasali. Uh, maternity, because that's something that PhilHealth should pay for, um, it actually is 100% covered under PhilHealth. And then ligation or circumcision. So basically anything that we know every human being will get naman. So let's say mga Pinoy will all get circumcised or get ligated at some point. This is something that PhilHealth can cover. No? But everything else, you can apply the annual benefit limit of all care to any sakit, especially pre-existing and congenital diseases. No? A lot of employee spon- employer-sponsored HMOs exclude pre-existing. Kasi nga naman, it makes sense, no? Bakit nila sasagutin yung healthcare para sa bagay na you've gotten since you were born? Or you've gotten working for the previous employer in cases of, let's say, construction or real estate. Now. Um, and it makes sense. But for all care, because we truly understand the freelancer, na, po, na pwede hindi mo alam na may sakit ka eh, because it's the, it's the first time you've actually had HMO, instead of giving a prescribed list of what's included, we just said, ito lang yung excluded, tong tatlong to, everything else is included now. So the 50,000 actually covers 100% of pre-existing. So at one point, I got an email um, asking me could they buy because they have an existing benign tumor because they've been turned down in other HMOs before. The good news is yes, pwede kang bumili ng all care. Um, we also cover 100% uh, congenital diseases. So kung pinanganak ako with a heart condition, don't worry about it. 
you can get all care and you can still use your all care for health maintenance regardless kung meron ka. Yeah. And you also... Um, sorry to sure. cut you off. Siguro, uh, it, it's, it would be good if you can expand nga on pre-existing ex- existing condition kasi I think that's one topic na a lot of people are interested in. And I, I, I know you're going over it, pero I, I want to reiterate it. And ako rin, sometimes nalilito ako, ano ba yung, well, oh, pre-existing, pero ano ba talaga tong pre-existing na to? So it's, it's in that we expound on this. Sure. Um, so pre-existing, um, pre-existing means at the point of purchase nung insurance or nung HM or whatever, meron kang condition na alam mo na sa sarili mo na meron ka. Obviously, merong mga, shucks, meron pala ako nun, pero hindi ko alam. No? Out yon. Dapat out yon. But some, I've seen some HMO stories na tinag nila as pre-existing. In a sense, tinabag nila sinungaling yung customer, no? Um, pre-existing. Then, pre-existing. Let's say for, for traditional HMOs, may knowledge ka. Oo. Oh, 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 oh. So, let's say, mo. Oh, let's say, kunwari, nagka-tuberculosis ka in the last two years, tapos bumili ka ng product, that would be considered a pre-existing condition kasi hindi ka naman pinanganak with tuberculosis. Diba? And they will not, not cover it. They will not cover it. And they will not cover any disease that the Late. doctor can see galing sa tuberculosis. Yeah. And that's the reason also when you fill up a form, whether it's insurance or well, specifically for that, pinandun lahat, di ba, ng mga iti-check mo na you have this, okay. So what about, um, to follow up with sa, sa ano na yun, um, what about uh, hypertension na high blood? Kasi ay mga, mga ka-age ko, dyan na napupunta. So is, is that, um, it, for traditional HMOs, hindi siya covered? If you de- you know and you declare pre-existing condition, yes, yes. Na. So sa all care, because pre-existing are all covered, no? we don't, um, ano eh, siguro Marv, the easiest way to explain it is, ayaw namin pahirapan si freelancer to get all of these tests para malaman niya kung anong meron o wala. No? It's, very, find, it's very easy, stressful. Parang, kaya nakukuha ng health card kasi may iniinda akong sakit eh, tapos hindi niyo pa ikaw. Parang it's, um, bakit pa ako kukuha, di ba? So, that's just very good point that um, you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. And then sa congenital naman, this is, these are conditions that you were born with, no? Um, nabawa, hika, no? So, yeah. a lot of, yeah. a lot of my friends have hika that they were born with. Nila nakuha yun. Um, sometimes you could have heart conditions, um, hearing conditions, no? So, sa amin, really just trying to make healthcare pretty, pretty much simple. No? Whatever you have, it's okay. No? You, can, you can use all care for it. But I guess, Marva, you also want to make this distinction. While you can literally use all care for almost anything, uh, somebody approached me kasi in one of the events I spoke at, at nagdadialysis na siya every week. Pwede ba niyang gamitin yung all care, no? Yes, technically speaking, pwede niyang ipanggamit yung all care. But, if you use your all care for, let's say, dialysis, major operation, or agad-agad, no? Yung 50,000 for mga habitual treatments, hindi siya malaki, no? Um, yeah. Or chemotherapy, for example. I wouldn't recommend getting all care for that. Kasi yun, ang kailangan mo doon, mga millions of pesos worth of medical insurance. Yun yung recommend kong bilhin mo, no? Kasi for chemo or dialysis or, or similar treatments, dalawa-tatlong session lang, ubus na yun, eh. Um, and then everything else you have to pay out of pocket. All care, really, the target of all care, especially the health side, no? Is really for healthy people who just want the peace of mind na kung may mangyari, they don't have to pay anything. You, need, uh, you got pneumonia, you need to be confined three days. Those are the scenarios that we would like you to use it. Um, may masakit chan mo, you need to see a gastro, no problem. All care has got you covered. You need a colonoscopy, walang problema. No? But if you nga, medyo meron ka na talaga major disease, it, HMO is not the ideal product for you. What you would need is really a medical insurance that goes up to the millions. No? 
Um, so I really, so hindi lang to para makabenta kami ng all care, no? But uh, we really want to people to buy the product that fits their lifestyle and their needs. So yun yung first part pa lang yun na membership, no? Yung HMO side. And then every member will also get a policy, an uh, insurance policy through Asian Life yeah. for to, life and action. Yeah, sorry to cut you off, uh, Cindy. So have we covered everything like yung difference ng all care sa other HMO? At least yung, yung general things that they need to know for, mem- for them to make the decision. Great that you reminded me. So yung isa na unique sa amin, sorry, dalawang bagay pa na unique sa amin. Number one is what we call a no fault. Oh, so, ito, common experience na, uh, so, common story na ginagawa ko. I go to La Union to surf. No? And makakakita ka doon ng mga freelancer na nagla-laptop habang nasa beach. No? Yeah, uh, uh, nomads. <laughs> oh, digital nomads natin. Let's say you get into an accident surfing. In some, in some HMO or medical insurance products, self-inflicted injuries are not covered. And when you say self-inflicted, kasalanan mo. Like surf ka, so kasalanan mo. Um, drunk driving, for example. Automatically, out na lahat yan. No? So, syempre, hindi ko ina-encourage yan. But the idea behind it is, kailangan mo na i-de-deny ka pa ba? Yes. You know, that's the, uh, that's the, the thing we're trying to solve. No? So, obviously, I don't want anybody drunk driving. I don't want anybody getting into an accident. But the idea is, if you need it, all care can help you, no? especially mga emergency cases. Um, and so, if somebody hit you, hindi mo ma-prove na aksidente yan, we wouldn't ask for a police report anymore. No? That's it's just weird. Nasa hospital ka na, somebody will have to ask you all of these documentations pa. So, yun yung, yun yung isa. And then the last one is, we activate usually one to two weeks. No? So, when you buy a membership, you should be getting your Asian Life card within two weeks. Mm-hmm. So the turnaround is pretty, pretty fast. Now we want to bring that down further, but um, so we're still learning along the way. So hopefully we can bring that down to a couple of days. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so those are the four things that we're really, really unique in. Uh, 100% pre-existing, 100% congenital, no fault coverage, and uh, two weeks uh, max um, mm-hmm. activation period. Um, yeah, siguro, uh, yeah, I have a few more questions. Um, well, it's good na, it seems that everything na uh, people, um, kumbaga, yung mga people don't like about HMOs, unfortunately, yung mga fine print na people don't really um, understand or read and then they just got, get an HMO and then after na lang nila na-realize na hindi pala covered. So, it's good that uh, all the complications of an HMO um, tinanggal ng all care and you really simplified it and it's easy for people to understand and, and that's good. And that's good that you're here that we're, we're, we're talking about this. So, yeah, thank you for that. Um, um, siguro, what, I mean, other questions uh, yung dito sa... Um, healthcare benefit. Um, can people top up? Can are their um, kids, spouses? Can they get coverage for them, or this just for the freelancer? Ah, great question. So, yung una muna yung top up na. So, top up isn't generally accepted in the HMO industry. Kasi pag nag top up ka, ibig sabihin risk na yan, ba? Meaning, for sure, si si motin yung tinap up niya na. So no, top up aren't isn't allowed in the way we do insurance here in the Philippines and in most countries, naman. But that's why we want to open a marketplace down the line. So we want to work with people who provide complementary products to all care. No? so for example, um, I know you've seen Maria Health. For example, they they so we we want to be able to work with them or other card providers who have products that complement with the H- the kind of HMO that all care offers no um syempre iba iba yan eh like uh, last week i was trying to get a product from this uh, prepaid card from this uh, company so nung tinitingnan ko na yung fine print again emergency cases only tapos one time use lang so syempre um para sa akin hindi yun siya no ideal kasi what if hindi emergency yung need mo no so that's why all care is also the the first level of gatekeeping no that 
wants to make sure whatever we put in that marketplace is truly value adding and truly complementary. Ayo namin magbenta ng product for the sake of kasi ibinibenta. No? So there are some products there, and the, the beauty behind it is we have friends in the insurance industry who can come up with products that can really complement. No? It's just a matter of pricing and statistics and volume. Pero there is a way to do that. So for a freelancer, hindi mo na kailangan intindihin ano ba yung okay na produkto. Kasi the idea is that all care will actually serve as that um, advisor for you in terms of what things to buy. We won't be having a marketplace like Lazada na 1 million products. We will probably have 10, 15 products there. Pero we would put our name on the line for also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the top, that's top, the top up part. For kids and other family members, I get this question so often, especially sure, yeah. a lot of the freelancers are freelancing for their kids, no? Yes. Um, yes, no. The goal is to come up with a family package. But because we're the first crazy people to come up with this kind of package, a lot has to be tested and experimented on first, no? So right now, we only have um, this package. But hopefully, uh, Lord willing, Q3, maybe end of Q2, Q3, we can start working on a family package or a dependent package. Kasi people have to know, mas mahal alagaan ang bata at yung mas matanda. No? Um, tayo, na medyo millennial towards uh, post-millennial, um, hindi I'm tayo... Kasi, Gen X and Gen Yala ko Gen <laughs> <laughs> so, we're not as expensive yet, no? We don't have the diseases na lumalabas at 50s, pero tapos na tayo dun sa mga uh, pediatric concerns, no? Um, so, we also need to understand the data on that side of the fence, no? Um, but, like, again, no, the mission of All Care is to be really helpful to the Filipino working community, and so we want to be able to come up with it. Or maybe partner with somebody who can. No? So, yeah. again, we are very open to collaboration, partnership, so hopefully magawa yan Q2 Q3. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, last thing about uh, the healthcare. So you, you mentioned the card is Asian Life. So uh, can this be accepted in, in major hospitals and uh, establishments? Right. Med so establishment. that's also the beautiful thing about the all care health. Uh, offering inside the membership package. No? Kasi we work with Asian Life. No? So, hindi na kami nag-invento ng sarili namin HMO. We work with Asian Life to really use their network of hospitals. And the beauty of working with somebody trustworthy like Asian Life is that um, the package we have with them accept is acceptable even in the bigger hospitals like St. Luke's. No? Kasi may mga nakita akong HMO packages ngayon na, oh, oh, pwede ang individual, medyo mas mahal ng konti. Pero pag tinignan mo, excluded yung bigger hospitals. You need to go to their primary centers muna. I don't blame them, no? Kasi again, it's a cost measure and a risk measure that they put in place. Pero sa atin, if we really want to help and people are closest to St. Luke's, for example, okay lang. You can use it there. Mm -hmm. And um, hindi lang emergency sarco ang ang covered even consultations with accredited Asian life uh, doctors tama correct correct the idea is that you will never need an emergency procedure but if you do pwede consultations outpatient procedure laboratory tests are all covered so the idea talaga is cashless maintenance no health maintenance mm -hmm. okay so i think you know yung lahat of questions ko about healthcare are, are, since ni tayo naka live, unfortunately, ano pa yung other frequently asked questions na tingin mo people will ask so that we can answer na rin um, here. So sa health side, uh, I think nasagot naman na typically na ako talaga namin mga tanong dyan is yung pre-existing and yung tinanong mo, pwede ba mag-top up? Yeah, uh, kasi kasi oh. nga nalilitan sila sa 50,000 uh, pero pag gina-explain ko naman na Sa totoo lang, Marv, the average consumption, um, I think, nationally is less than 10,000. You know? If you think about, last year, ilang beses ba ako na-confine? Zero. Ilang beses ba ako nagpa-check up twice? No? So, 50,000 is really much more than what an average uh, worker needs. If you're generally healthy, you know, that's a qualifying statement. And then, yung isang nga is yung family na yeah. nakailang beses na ako magsagot this week. I'm sure. 
Pero yung 50,000, I think, yung peace of mind na knowing you have that na anytime na knock on wood may mangyari, like, uh, you can use that. And, and sabi mo nga, yung te- you, 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 hindi mo pa nga naman maximize yung full 50. Um, and I think, in on my case din, ganun din. Hindi, hindi ko naman ako umaabot yearly. Again, knock on wood. Um, ay sa ganyang amount. So, I think it's, it's, it's um, enough for, for now na wala pang top up or um, anything that, that that if people would like to increase in coverage, that's enough. And um, again, siguro last question about the card you mentioned, they will receive it in one to two weeks. But are they cover, covered the moment they pay? Yung card lang mismo. Yung They're covered yung, the moment they activate their account. Activate, so, yeah. your experience kasi is they pay, they sign up and they pay. But we also have to validate na, oy, under 65 years old pa talaga yeah. si Nan. Uh-huh. Um, talagang taga-Pilipina siya kasi mamaya, foreigner pala hindi uh-huh. nabili. And then upon activation, yes, covered na sila. Mm-hmm. So even if wala yung physical card sa kanila, in case magka-emergency, they, you'll give them their probably their number, card number? or One we give the card number. Actually, they can watch in into any, any hospital, kunwari, go to the Asian Life booth, and then just say, I'm Cindy Birdette, I'm covered under all care. Mm-hmm. Look up lang nila yung pangalan mo, o nandun ka nga sa listahan, okay na. Okay, that's that's good to know na, na at, kung, kung activated na, kumbaga yung sasabi kong peace of mind is is there. And we'll talk about later yung process siguro, no? on how to get that uh, coverage. So, you, you wanna talk about the, the other benefits? So, isa pa lang yan, di ba? That's just one oh, part. Uh, all care benefits. Uh, so it's sabi nga natin. Uh, patak sa takilya yan ng HMO. Yeah, yeah. And we also give um, every member a life and accident insurance policy worth 100,000. So, again, it's not your million pesos worth of Sun Life, Elam, or AXA insurance product. No, It's really, if something happens to you, your family shouldn't worry about anything. No? That it's immediate. So if you cannot work six months or up um, due to an accident or due to an illness, we will give you the 100000 in cash. Um, six months and up. Or if you knock on wood, sabi mo nga, accidentally die, for whatever reason, we will also give the full 100000 to your beneficiary. And typically, we follow the hierarchy, spouse, children, grandparents. Um, yeah, so think about, you know, think about the Lala Move riders, the Grab riders. They have nothing to protect them. So these are the people that could use the 100,000, right? Or ikaw, I mean, if wala ka pang St. Peter's plan, kunwari, um, ako, wala pa ako, sa totoo lang. But if I have all care, my family doesn't have to worry about my burial services, you know, all of these things. Um, so that's the second part, um, life and accident. We also give every member... 30 pieces of 100 peso vouchers of Grab. So, okay. so for us that use Grab every day, alam natin may mga promo code, promo code dyan, 50 off, 100 off. So every member actually can claim 30 pieces of Grab promos that are worth 100 each. So dun palang 3,000 peso value na agad yun. So yung 15,000 membership, 3,000 of that is actually plowed back to the member, no? Um, and then we also give smart Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi pins. So I think about 200 hours, if I'm not mistaken, in increments of 10 hours. So let's say if you go to a mall or a public transport area, a hotspot, kita mo smart Wi-Fi, you can click that and then you can just get a code from your account and then use it, no? So you have free Wi-Fi. We also give every member a Coffee Beans World Card. Um, which gives them free access to Coffee Bean Wi-Fi, no? 200 peso value din yun. But more importantly, and this one I'm really excited about, if you show sa counter that you are an All Care member, whether through the, the website or through your card, you will get 5% off on drinks and food. Oh, okay. Um, and then we also have an ongoing partnership with Sarabia Optical. So... Eye examination is free and then about 10 to 20% discount on lens and uh, frames. So, ikaw ako, may salamin tayo, magagamit natin yan. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so, and then, sorry, uh, before I get go, we also offer discounted Cebu Pacific get go points. Um, since wala pa kami marketplace, anybody who wants to buy get go points so that they can use it on Cebu Pacific website, email email muna. But we offer it about 80 centavos to a point. I think that's the cheapest anyone can ever buy it in the whole country. Kasi right now, you earn it for, I think, an average of 4 pesos per point. Mm. So that's good for yung mga digital nomads na working, travel. wear travel and travel like you, <laughs> surfing. <laughs> I think yung uh, maganda nga yun, uh, is parang you're really thinking about the freelancer with uh, yung Wi-Fi access with that uh, uh, coffee bean swirl card, plus the grab uh, voucher for freelancers who go to events from time to time. Yung mga lum- hindi naman palagi lumalabas, pero I think 3,000 is 3,000. Um, if some, I remember sometime late last year, mga nag-share ng yung end year and grab, ano nila? Grab um, spending. Nalaki. So, 3,000 is, is, is big. So, yeah, uh, I think um, very interesting for for freelancers like us. So now we talked about the how and the what. Uh, yung ah, sorry the the why and the what. So now we talk about the how. So how can they avail of the uh, all care membership? Okay, so we really made it very simple. So all you need to have with you either on your phone or an image in your laptop or desktop is your valid ID and proof of residence. No? Um, valid ID because we want to make sure that you're that person we're covering. Or you're that person. Remember, oh, oh, shayo. And secondly, yung proof of residence is so we can really guarantee na taga dito ka kasi the services are not available abroad. Yeah. Um, so all you go, all you do is you go to the All Care website. Uh, that's allcare.io, and then you see a button there that says register. Um, you fill out the information, basic naman, birthday, pin number. Um, it's one of our unique identifiers, and then yun, if they have an affiliate code, um, hihingin din namin don. Um, if they're part of an affiliate partnership program, lagay nila don, and then just. Sub- Upload the valid ID and upload proof of residence. Choose your mode of payment. Currently, we have PayPal and bank transfer. But soon, we will actually have GCash, Visa, MasterCard, um, even Cebuana Lulier and all the other partners. Um, our team is really hard at work on that side. Um, but right now, you can pay via PayPal and uh, bank transfer via Robinson's Bank. And then... Soon as you get your proof of payment, we should be able to know na okay, bayad na si customer ABCD. We check the information in one to two weeks. You're activated and you're good to go. Mm-hmm. So uh, they just need to go to the website allcare.io and then look for the registration uh, button. Tapos um, when they go to that register registration page. Um, Maraming do they need to answer mga questions like they do for health card HMOs? Wala. Wala. Well, we don't ask anything about that anymore. Um, no, really staying true to our to our mantra na whatever the freelancer needs, we're right there to help. No? So we don't have any of those parang vetting questions na tinatawag. Have you ever been diagnosed? Ganyan. Wala, walang ganag. Kasi normally, di ba, mga, mga haba ng mga forms na it will take you a long time to fill it up. So, you just need that, uh, yung proof of residence uh, from that from an ID. So, at least one ID ba or dalawang IDs? One ID lang actually, government uh, government ID. Usually, driver's license and passport yung nakikita ko nila. Mm-hmm. And then, how long yung activation part? Usually, nag recently, since hindi pa naman ganun kalaki yung volume, we've been able to activate within a week, about seven working days, no? Um, yeah. So, if you buy on a Monday, next Monday, you'll probably be activated. Um, yung card lang yung medyo matagal because it actually comes from Asian yeah. Life. And then, de-deliver mo na sa amin bago namin ma-deliver sa iba. Eh, hindi naman ganun kaganda yung delivery system natin in the country. So, it, uh, right now, ang average donation life is about two weeks. 
Mm-hmm. Some areas can't reach. Pa. So, hopefully, we can lower that to much faster. But again, even without the card, just alam mo yung number mo, pagpunta ka nga lang sa liaison office, sabihin mo na all care, alam na nila. Yeah. And ano naman to, nationwide, di ba? Basta Pinoy ka, you live here, you can get all care. Um, so, they they will receive a notification via email or SMS or both? So, right now by email, um, we're building the SMS part of the system. So, once they pay and we've confirmed the payment, they get the para acknowledgement email na we've got your application form and your payment. And then, as soon as they're activated, they get another email that says, Welcome to All Care. Here's your account number and your username, password. Because we've created a sort of like a dashboard for them to see. Actually, I don't know. Can I show you a screen? Pwede ba yun? Yes, yes, pwede. So, let me, let me try and see if I can. Um, actually, I can. So, kasi what's important then with All Care is we really try to make it as... Um, I'll show you my screen, ah. Yeah, sure. Uh, try to make it as self-service as possible. So, what happens is, so my other business, no, I, I we got a couple of memberships for our um, our staff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, as soon as they're activated, they get their username, password, and they get access to this dashboard. Okay. Yeah. So, dito may kita nila yung membership ID nila. Um, so, ito yung sinasabi natin na if you open this and you go to Coffee Bean, um, mm-hmm. you show you show this to uh, them. Okay. So, if you have access to that, that to the dashboard, it means activated ka na. Correct, correct. It means you're covered then, na. Lahat ng details for the HMO nandito. So, if you have any questions, like you should be, we should be able to answer it by reading this. Claim instructions. Mm-hmm. Your all your benefits are here. Getting grab codes, everything. No? And then, if you want to, let's say, go to a clinic, um, you can request a letter. What do you need to go to the clinic for? It's all automated. So it's very, very simple to use. No? Mm-hmm. Wow, pati yung, yeah. yung letter of guarantee, you can have it printed. Oh, okay. So, yeah. mayari dito, we, you sign up, uh, you fill up the form, um, we get it, and then we give it to Asian Life, and then usually in two to three hours, napaprocess na yan. So, kuha mo na siya sa email mo, and then you... Ideally, you print it out kasi kailangan yan sa hospital. No? You print it out. Um, I don't know if may mga clinics sa tumatanggap ng soft copy yeah. na pwede mong iparang i-bluetooth lang or email but ako ang ginagawa ko so far, yeah. pinaprint it out. Yeah. For the benefit of those who don't know what what a letter of guarantee is and bakit nila kailangan, can, can you quickly... Um... Sure. So, um, you need the letter of guarantee so that you don't have to pay anything at the clinic or at the hospital, no? What it means is that all care is guaranteeing that we will pay the doctor, we will pay the hospital. That's why you need the letter of guarantee. Yeah, pero this is generally for hosp- hosp- hospitalization, di ba? But the consults actually kailangan kung ayaw mo mag-variant. Kailangan mo, so like for example, the other day, ako mismo nag-process, she wanted to see a pulmonologist. Um, she did the same thing. She said, I want to go to a pulmonologist. This is my location. Can I go to this hospital? Nilagay niya sa request. Sakto, the center, ARDI center is actually covered. So we created the uh, LOG for her, letter of guarantee for her na nakalagay, this is the doctor, this is the clinic, wala siyang babayaran pagdating natin. Mm, that's nice. Okay, so we talked about yung how they can register. So now let's talk about the important, um, uh, exciting promo that uh, we have for our viewers and listeners of Freelance Blend. Okay, cool. So, um, specifically for, free, for blenders no, and, through, um, and through the support of Marvin, we're, we came up with a promo where people who use your code, so let me pull that up. We can show that naman, di ba? Registration page. Uh, so, um, Let's see. So, all they have to do is go to... Let me share my screen para makita nila. Um, yan. Okay. All they have to do is go to register. So, uh, allcare.io slash register. Right. And then, actually, right, allcare.io lang. Okay. 
Okay. Um, get your membership today or register. Ay, asan ba ako? Nakalagin ka yata eh. Nakalagin ah, ka pa. Tama, tama. Teka. Sign out muna ako. Sige. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go to the website to buy a product, no? And then, um, when they buy, meron sila makikitang feel na ganito eh. Um, ito. Let me share my screen. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see it? Yes. Right. So here, all they actually have to do is just type freelance blender. Actually, they can leave it blank. And then type blenders Jan 2019. No? Okay. So every member who provides the affiliate code um, blenders Jan 2019 will get 500 pesos off of their membership. No? So all they have to pay is actually 14,500 na lang. Um, but they have to choose, excuse me, they have to choose not PayPal, bank payment. Kasi pag PayPal, automatic 15,000 yung price. Hindi pa namin na fix yung dynamic pricing. But if they choose bank transfer, we will tell them, we will email them and say, you'll just pay 14,500. Mm-hmm. So you use the affiliate. Yeah. Yung pala hindi natin napag-usapan, the, the price for, for the membership is 15,000 annually. Correct. 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 So, so 15,000 and actually with the other perks, ma kita mo na na sobrang sulit niya and then we give yeah. you 15,000 HMO and 100,000 life insurance. Yeah. So it's a little bit like about 1,000 plus a month. So um, it's not not so bad. Um, tapos plus again if they if they use the affiliate code blenders jan 2019. They get they get that extra five hundred pesos of so fourteen five na lang. Um, so so after they do that, uh, you, you mentioned uh, for now no if available lang to for bank transfer. So when you say bank transfer, they pay it. Uh, they go to a bank to deposit or they is it all online then? So right now, um, the bank that we use, like literally today, no, if you can, if you pay, we will use Robinson's bank. But I think by the end of the week, we will also have um, BDO and BPI already. Kasi yun yung mas mga may online transfer, no? Um, I know medyo mahirap yung Robinson's bank kasi konti yung branch nila. So if anybody is in Ortigas, I don't mind meeting and then issuing the physical receipt also. Um, but yeah, ngayon Robinson's bank pa, but uh, hopefully by the end of the week, we get the other banks also. Mm-hmm. So that means uh, they go to the registration page, tapos put the code, Blenders Jan 2019, uh, and then lalabas dun yung, if they select bank transfer, lalabas dun na. Yeah, account number, details. Account number, and then uh, they go, let's say they go to a bank, yun nga, Robinson's bank, pay the uh, deposit or make that payment. And then, may proof sila of that slip. They need to send it to you. Yeah, they just need to either email. Uh, email it at support at allcare.io. Or they can message allcare Facebook and just send uh, as an attachment yung pinicture na nilang deposit slip. Deposit slip. Yung nabahala mag-validate na. Yes. Okay. So, uh, let's just repeat yung code for our uh, listeners naman. So, blenders. B L E N D E R S Jan as in January J A N and then two zero one nine twenty nineteen blenders Jan twenty nineteen. So you just need to uh, input that uh, sa affiliate uh, affiliate code portion ng registration and then automatically you'll see the computation that it will become fourteen five. So this is available until when, Cindy? So this is live today until Feb 28. Mm, today. Okay. So most likely they will uh, we will publish this ano na ngayon, di ba? End of so first week of February. So you have like uh, a month within the whole within the whole month of uh, February 2019 to avail of this uh, special promotion for our blenders community. So, anything else you would like to um, remind our, our listeners and viewers, uh, Cindy? Sure. So, if you have any questions, if you feel like uh, Marvin and I were not able to address some of your concerns since Cindy and I did live, um, feel free to email us at hello 
at allcare.io um, or messages on Facebook. No, I like I like getting messages on Facebook. To be honest, like some some really share their horror stories. Kasi. So I really like uh, being able to support them in that area. Um, that's one. No, uh, hello at allcare or Facebook. Secondly, please make sure you get your feel health. Um, napaka mura nun and napaka laking tulong for cases where you really need it the most. No? Kasi all care works very, very nicely with PhilHealth. No? We're on top. Eh. So let's say you get confined as an all care member, PhilHealth pays something and then all care pays something. So pwede hindi mo maubos agad yung annual benefit kasi yeah. bihara na first level. Yeah. No? So it's very important and I know freelancers are so busy but please make time to find uh, and process your fillers. Yeah. Extra tip no, sa mga freelancers based in Metro Manila or uh, BGC Makati area. So, uh, ako personally, I went to the SM Aura branch ng PhilHealth, yung, yung office building, yung mall mismo, pero the office building ng Aura. So, wala masyadong tao. Uh, last I remember, wala masyadong tao so at saka ano pa hindi uh, very um, systematic hindi hindi siya magulo and may aircon so hindi, hindi yung mga ibang mga field health offices so yung mga yon mga based in BGC or uh, Taguig area or Makati that's one field health na pwede yung puntahan uh, and i have personal experience going there so well thank you Cindy uh, before before we go your final uh, Message or uh, an announcement uh, to, to our listeners and viewers of Freelance Blend? I'm good. Hit me up if you have any questions. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cindy Burdett, also, uh, CEO and co founder of allcare.io. So, natin before we go, go to allcare.io slash register. And then uh, use the code Sayang, Sayang, 500 pesos din yan. Blenders Jan 2019, so that you can avail of this uh, uh, special um, code that is given to us by All Care. Thank you very much, Cindy. Thank you, and uh, yeah, hope to see you soon. Uh, we'll have another session maybe, kasi hindi tayo nakapag Q and A. We'll we'll make sure, siguro. We'll, we'll meet up na tayong dalawa na sa isang place and then uh, we, can, we can answer all their questions and I'm sure in, in a few months meron na mga bagong mga pakulo ang may mga bagong partnerships ang all care we can talk about that next time okay thanks Mark thank you thank you yeah see you soon bye guys bye. peace thanks for listening to the Freelance Blend Podcast for more details about the show and our thriving freelancer community, please visit us at www.freelanceblend.com.